recognize the distinguished representative from the district. I thank uh, my good friend, Chairwoman Maloney, for her very generous words concerning me. But I thank her most of all for giving me an opportunity, the opportunity to introduce the witnesses today. This is normally the, the work of the chair of the committee. Two of these um, witnesses were directly engaged in work to assure that there would be no state obstacles to the right to vote. And they must be very proud of how that work has, in fact, benefited millions of, of Americans. They were in the core and the thick of the civil rights movement. My only regret is that our colleague, John Lewis, who though not a member of this committee, would certainly be here today uh, if he could. He, of course, John, of course, was chair of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. And I do want to note another of our colleagues is in the audience, Frank Smith, also an alumna of, alumni of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, whom I first met in Mississippi. Um, I, these witnesses will have only five minutes, which is, of course, the rules of the committee. And so I hope particularly the witnesses who can give us perspective on what we've got to do now in renewing the Voting Rights Act can talk about their own role so that we can have something to compare what we're going through today in voter suppression with what they experienced as student uh, activists. Uh, that work, their, their perspective from that period can best inform our work in combating the uh, uh, obstacles we face now in the House in renewing the Voting Rights Act. So I'm pleased to introduce our witnesses, they will be Reverend Dr. William Barber, uh, the president of Repairers of the Breach and co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, Diane Nash, a civil rights leader and one of the founding members of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, Tim, Tim Jenkins, uh, also my law school classmate uh, and uh, a founding member of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Today he's a, an attorney and an activist and currently serves on the boards of Teaching for Change and the Civil Rights Movement Archive. Finally, Marsha Johnson Blanco is the co-director of the Voting Rights Project for the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. Thank you very much, Madam Chair.